it's upsetting me and my homegirls that you haven't already subscribed. Hi, my name is Samantha. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back. I'm super excited to share with you guys a hair video today. I have not done a hair video in a minute. It's been over a year since I've done a hair video. My girlfriends are always asking me, what do you do? What do you do? Your hair looks like it's coming out of your, your head. They're always asking me if this is my real hair and it's not. Um, so I wanted to share with you how I put my wig on and also how I curl my hair because my girlfriends are always asking me how I curl my hair as well. I mentioned it in the video but today I am using the Tresemme Climate Protection Mousse. All you really need is a mousse with hold. This doesn't have a lot of hold, um, so because it doesn't have a lot of hold and I'm not going to buy another mousse, because why should I? I do mix it with a little bit of got to be glued, but it's not your typical procedure of um, putting 10 layers of got to be glued on your head before you get to put on your wig. It's pretty easy. And the fact that this hair is also a closure wig, it is a little bit easier because it's made to be glueless. But some people have that issue of having the front of their hair lift or the um the lace not you know sit tightly on your head and this is for that girl maybe you have a glueless frontal maybe you have a glueless um wig but you still feel or see that space in between your lace all you need is a mousse with hold and it's super easy so i'm gonna take you through that process today so i have my hair wrapped up i just made sure to lay down my edges so this is the wig that i'm going to be using today so it is a closure wig and it's already set in the middle part this hair i believe was the peruvian wavy hair by hvm hair i'll put all the links down below i personally made this wig by myself so um it pretty much just has a cap and a closure and it's made to be a glueless wig so Ideally, I could just throw it on my head and like go, but I personally like a more melted look. I'm gonna take my headscarf off and I just have my cap on. So because this is a closure and because I have a, I don't know what kind of hairline you would call this, but I have like, you know, a, um, curvy hairline I don't know um, I don't mind having my edges out and I personally think that it looks more natural that way so I have on a cap and um, it's just holding my hair down so I have a flat um, surface so I'm just gonna put this on so you guys can see what it looks like when it's on okay so this is what it looks like when it's on as you can see it looks pretty natural the only thing um, that needs to be done is just styling just to make sure that the um, top is flat the part is straight and all of that good stuff and if I styled it just like this gorgeous easy peasy but there is this flap here that can come up at any time and on this side as well so i mean it typically stays down but if i kind of you know move my hair or anything like that um it might just be a little bit of you know of a bother but i could wear this throw it on it's like even straight throw it on and you know style it and wear it just like this no glue no nothing it's just glueless and ready to go but what i like to do is i like to use a foaming mousse um, that has a little bit of hold in it on the front of my lace so that it will mold to my head the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to get the hair out of my face and kind of just 
away from um, the back of my neck because I'm going to be using a scarf and then I'm going to kind of comb the hair away so I personally like my hair to look a little pushed back um, at the front so I'm just pushing it back before I go ahead and do what I gotta do so I'm gonna take the Tresemme Professionals uh, Climate Protection Mousse and I'm just gonna put a little on the front of my hair So this is the closure with the just mousse on it. So I'm going to leave this side with the just mousse and on this side I'm just going to add a tiny bit of got to be glue. So um, the only reason I do this is because sometimes I just want a little bit extra hold and so I just literally go and I just spray a little bit. So I'm going to show you how much I spray. I hope you guys can see. but. That's one, that's two, and that's three. And then I just kind of melt that in. So this side is just gonna be mousse, and this side is gonna have a little bit of got to be glued, um, got to be glued free spray. And then I'm gonna get a little like scar, just something tiny like this that can pretty much only fit over um, the part that I've been working on and I'm gonna go ahead and tie that up that's another reason why I put my hair in a bun in the back is so that it's easy to tie everything up so while that's drying I'm also gonna go ahead and style my hair my girlfriends are always asking me how do I do my curls um, because I like to get like a wavy kind of like textured um, curl pattern and not really um, a body like curl so I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of show you guys how I do that as well I'm gonna be using this con air curling iron so I'm letting it heat up right now and I'll just come back when it's all heated okay so I basically have four sections one two three and four and I'm just going to start at the top of the section and I take pretty large sections so I'm going to take the curling iron and I'm going to put the barrel of the curling iron underneath my hair so the largest part the barrel here is going to be underneath my hair now I'm going to turn away from my face and I'm going to pretty much put all of the hair inside of the curling iron and then I'm going to release the top section release 
the bottom section and release the end. When you do that, you'll have this spiral. It's not going to be a tight like body curl. It's going to be a spiral. So it's gonna give you more of like a beach wave look than it's gonna give you a big bouncy curl. So I have you a little bit higher, now you can see the top of my head. And I'm gonna show you another way that I do that and how I curl the top of my head. So I have one section here. one section here I'm going to do the same thing pretty much I'm going to start at the base of the hair so I'm going to start closer to the root with the barrel underneath the hair I'm going to turn my curling iron towards my head and I'm just going to leave the ends out so the ends are out I'm going to open the clasp a little bit and drag down the shaft of the hair. I'm gonna curl in a second time, leaving the ends out. And then I'm gonna keep doing that until I get pretty close to the end. But instead of um, wrapping this end and like continuing all the way down, I'm gonna start dropping the hair now. So I'm gonna drop the first curl I'm going to drop the second curl and then I'm just going to drag out and this is the curl so that's what that looks like so what that does is it gives you a straight end as you can see the ends are not curled at all it's pretty straight and that's how I get more of a relaxed curl Okay, so on this channel, we do not comb through our hair until it is cool and it's not warm anymore. So now that it has cooled, I've also went ahead and flattened out the top of the hair a little bit. I'm just gonna run my fingers through and I'm gonna also put it in my hair. So as you can see, it has body, there's waves. I hope you can see. I hope you can see. I don't know if you can see. But, um, and it's not too curly. It's also gonna fall a little bit more. So this is how the lace is looking. Remember this side did not have any got to be glue. And this side had got to be glue on it. So it is pretty dry so i'm just gonna go in and very gently i'm just gonna comb the mousse a little bit as you can see okay so this is the final result of just pretty much using a foaming mousse that has a little bit of holes just to hold down and melt the lace into your skin for a flawless application. So you can definitely do this with your lace frontals, you can do this with your um, glueless wigs, you can do it with pretty much anything that you might just need a little bit more of a hold. And if you just want to do something other than the got to be or other than the gel, um, I think this is a better alternative than using a lot of products that you'd have to then force yourself to <laughs> scrub off of your wig in the future. This is super easy. I could take it off and go to bed at any point or I can tie it back down and wear it again tomorrow and it lasts for as far as like not having to rewash your wig consistently. I can do this process multiple times a week and you won't get a lot of build up. So I'm going to go ahead and get my makeup on and I'll see you guys in a bit. It is a little more voluminous 
um, than I typically curl my hair. I think just because I was um, trying to do the tutorial and curl my hair at the same time that I curled it a little tighter than I normally do. But it's still very cute, it's still very relaxed, and it still looks um, effortless. And that's what we're going for these days, it's just like an effortless look and yeah so let me just show you the perimeter of this wig so it is a closure wig um so i have a four by four closure the closure stops about right here and then right here is my edges and it's the same thing on this side as well i hope you guys can see that the closure stops about right here and then this is my edges um i made this wig myself um i would love to show you guys how i make my wigs um in a future video but right now i'm just showing you how i was able to lay this i hope that you guys like this video i hope that you guys found it very helpful i am almost at my 500 subscriber goal and i'm super excited to reach that goal so if you want to support definitely like smash that subscribe button and you know subscribe to your girl